Hey, this is Cole, and I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the extruder motor on the Funmat HT Enhanced. And it's very similar for the non-enhanced version. So you're going to need a 2.5 and a 3 millimeter Allen key, which was included in your kit. Let's begin with the 3 millimeter. And what I'm going to do is actually just loosen up the uh, tensioner, and that's going to make it easier to get this arm back on. So it's going to be 2.5 for most of the rest of this job. The first thing you're going to want to do is get this arm off. And that is this upper left hand bolt. Um, put, hold it in place with your other hand because it is kind of spring loaded. Um, that's why I took some of the tension off. And get ready to catch that spring. Because once this arm comes off, that spring has nowhere to go. Should have kept going with that one. Come on. There we go. All right, so now that that bolt's undone, this arm is free. And go ahead and grab the spring because that's going to come with it. All right. Spring. Little uh, nut there, bolt. And the arm itself. So keep those together, set them aside. We'll consider that one piece. So again, with the 2.5. We're going to move to the upper right. And if this has been sitting a while, there'll probably be quite a bit of tension in there. Oh my God. Oh yeah. That's satisfying. And there's nothing behind that. And the two on the bottom are the last two bolts that are actually holding the motor in place. But I'm actually going to remove the two below that even to take the bracket off as well. Almost free. There we go. We do have to remove all of them. This bracket has to go as well. So now is where the three millimeter comes into play. We remove the two lower ones. There we go. And now you also have access to this brass nut that we can clean. You have an excellent opportunity to be able to clean that out. And that is full of a bunch of ABS. So now you're going to have to disconnect the motor itself from the power distribution board down here, which is simple enough. Normally you'd always turn the printer off before you would do this, but we need the light. Trace it down, this wire right here. Gently pull. Carefully feed it around so you don't pull any other wires out. And 
and the motor is removed. So the first thing you're going to want to reconnect is the bottom of the front bracket. And that will be once again with your and that will be once again with your three millimeter Allen. Then the two longer M3 bolts that use the two and a half driver yeah. secure the bottom of the stepper motor into place. Secure one side loosely. And then the other side loosely before you completely torque down so that it is not pulled off to one side. So that it is even against the face of the bracket. And back to the other side. Now the upper right is smaller M3. And now the trickiest part place your spring. You can place the bolt the idler wheel see how it's set in there now while holding the right side, you kind of have to push around until this feeds in. This is why we have to make sure that the tensioner screw, this right here, was loose. Now I'm going to loosen it even more. There we go. Got it in there. Now I don't have to worry about that spring popping out. And I can tension that back down with the three millimeter. Feels good to me. Let me see if element feeds through there properly to make sure that everything's properly aligned. Perfect. No problem. All right. That's how you reassemble the faceplate and motor. Oh, no, we have to plug this back in. There we go. Let's make sure it works. And that's how you uninstall and reinstall the extruder motor on the FunMat HT Enhanced.
If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys.